In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve SAT quadratic word problems, also known as projectile motion problems. Looking at the question, we have the equation here, and it reads, the equation above expresses the approximate height h in meters of a ball t seconds after it's launched vertically upward from the ground with an initial velocity of 25 meters per second. All of this already is basically just telling us what the equation says. So we don't really need that. The real question is, after approximately how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? And the ball hits the ground when it hits here, which in math terms is going to be the x-intercept. So we're going to solve for the x-intercept by setting our equation equal to zero and then factoring. A quick tip with this one, something I'm going to use, anytime I see approximate, that means round. So I see 4.9 and then they say approximate, so I'm going to make that 5. So first thing we do is set everything equal to zero. I'm going to approximate that number, make it negative 5t squared and then write the rest of the equation. And first thing I'm gonna do with this equation is I'm gonna take out a common factor. Both of these have a five I can pull out and both of these have a t I can pull out, so five t. That leaves us with a negative t in the first term. Pulling five t out of this would leave us with five and no t. And now we set both of these equal to zero and solve them independently. So five t equals zero divide by five on both sides, we get t equals zero. That makes sense, time was zero when we started. Next one would be negative t plus five equals zero. Add t to both sides, and we get five equals t. So it took five seconds to go from the beginning to the end, and our answer is going to be d, five seconds. 